Hi, I'm Zanny, and today I'll be taking a look at The Hunger, one of the six currently available exotics, one that is themed after the Shroud, and one that shares the Shroud's elemental affinity. I'll be covering the mechanics behind The Hunger, as well as giving you a build to help you succeed in your hunts across the Maelstrom. Let's get to it. Before you can set off on crafting The Hunger, you'll need to acquire its blueprint. Exotic blueprints, such as The Hunger, can be acquired from running heroic patrols or from pursuing Shroud himself. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and the cons associated with both. Running Heroic Patrols can net you more Arcanite than Heroic Pursuits, but also have a chance of giving you one of the six exotics you do not own. Running Heroic Pursuits will net you less Arcanite than Heroic Patrols, but will make it easier to target a set of Behemoth-specific exotics. I recommend choosing what you find to be the most comfortable for you. I personally farmed Shroud for a few hours with a specialized build until I acquired my hunger. After you've obtained the blueprint, you'll need to gather exotic materials that are acquired under special circumstances, listed under the tooltip when you hover over the part in the crafting menu. Here's a list of total parts that you'll need, alongside the amount of Arcanite and the notes you'll need in total. Mechanically, the hunger functions like a traditional sword, but with a unique twist on its special ability. Its orb-style meter is instead replaced by a gauge, rising with every successful strike made against a behemoth and lowering with every hit you take. As the meter rises, your damage increases, capping at a 25% increase in damage at full meter. Activating your special ability will cause a unique animation to play, and will put you into a state known as the Feast. During the Feast, you deal 75% increased damage, but chip away at your own life total with every attack that lands against a behemoth. The Feast lasts for about 15 seconds, but can be cancelled by reactivating your special ability. Activating your special ability while in the Feast will cause a shadowy hand to quickly swipe out in front of you. If it makes contact with a behemoth, you will regain the majority of the health lost from the self-inflicted damage caused by the feast. If it does not make contact, that health will remain lost. It's important to note that the hand will swipe in the direction your character is facing rather than the direction your camera is facing. So keep that in mind whenever you reactivate the hunger special ability. The hunger is very much a case of high risk, high reward. Rewarding slayers who know when and how to take advantage of DPS opportunities that arise during an encounter with a behemoth. Take the time to analyze the fight, and pick out points where you can activate the feast without it being a liability to you or your teammates. These points include moments where Behemoth is interrupted, staggered, or has a part broken. The build I've created for the Hunger capitalizes on moments where Behemoth is staggered, pushing the payload of its damage through the immense bonus Overpower provides. Along with this, I've slotted in Rage Hunter for increased damage against Behemoth during their enrage phases, and topping it off with the sweet bonus Knockout King provides to stagger damage. Etheric Attunement was also included to reduce the tap cooldown of the Drask Lantern down to 20 seconds, giving you more periods of burst damage more often. Overall, this build performs very well and delivers potent damage when its criteria are met. That'll wrap it up for this video. It was interesting to use the Hunger again after the recent changes made to tweak its behavior. While it may not be the end-all, be-all for the sword category, it is a potent and fun alternative for more skilled players and changes up the dynamic of certain fights and the way you approach them. Hopefully you found the information here useful, or at the very least, entertaining. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe for more Dauntless-related content, and follow me on Twitter for updates related to me and my channel. I hope you all have a good one, and take care.